I have the USB cable plugged into my computer and my remote. A window popped up that said USB input device, device driver software installed successfully. I have an icon on my desktop that says Logitech Harmony Remote Control Software version 7. The program is running. At the bottom it says done. And in this screen we have the software that says new user or returning user. If you're a new user you can create a new account or if you're a returning user you can enter your login ID and password. Once I logged in I have activities, devices, remote settings and I have my old model Harmony remote which is the 520. There's a button that says update remote so I'll press that and see what happens. I click next now it's communicating with your Harmony remote this step may take several minutes and it detected the new remote and it says you are about to add a new Harmony remote control please choose one of the following use my existing account to add my new remote control or create a new account for my remote control if I go with use my existing remote this option replaces your current Harmony remote control which is what I want because I want to do an upgrade I'm not going to use this remote now it's communicating with the remote and it's a good time to take a drink of coke now time to test the remote disconnect the USB cable from the remote and follow the instructions displayed on the LCD screen of the remote now to unplug the remote from the USB cable and we'll go with the steps remote assistant if any devices are still on press help now and then you have turn off assist and it says devices and you have TV AV receiver DVD and game console and those were all things I had programmed with my previous Logitech remote okay everyone I'm back what took place was my TV and my receiver worked but it did not pick up my blu-ray player so I'm back at the screen and I'm going to set up a command the software did not give me an option to select blu-ray player so I selected DVD and then I typed in the model of my, my blu-ray player the software told me to plug in the USB cable to my Harmony remote and then take my Blu-ray player remote and put it two to five inches behind the IR port of the Harmony remote. And I have that over here as you can see. The black remote is the remote to my Panasonic Blu-ray player and the silver remote is the Harmony Universal Remote Control so now it's going to learn the commands of my blu-ray players remote and I'm going through the wizard it'll tell me a button on the screen and I will press that button and it'll get the commands through the IR port of the original remote and send it to the universal remote so it's telling me to press the power button and I press the power button and the software goes to the next step and it's saying play so I'm pressing the play button on my remote. The software says key detected. Now it's telling me to press number one. Key detected for number one. And I've programmed my Panasonic original remote into the Logitech Harmony remote. So now I'm in my living room where I have my entertainment cabinet. And I'll let you see what the remote's saying. It has activities, play Xbox 360, and Blu-ray and then you've got the red activity buttons above the LCD screen and the two that I have programmed is the one labeled watch TV and watch a movie I have watch TV set up as turn on my Xbox my television and my receiver and I have watch a movie as turn on my blu-ray player my television and my receiver so I'll try to press one of these buttons and see if that activity works and my television came on, my receiver came on, and my Blu-ray player came on. And you can see how that works. And then the remote wants to make sure that all the functions work. If the devices are not up correctly, press help now. Of course, they worked right, so I'm going to press the exit button. And it goes back to the screen where it's set up to control my Blu-ray player. If I want to, I can press the device button again, and it goes back to television, AV, receiver, DVD and console so all in all this remote setup was fairly simple and it worked good I've used it for the past two hours watching Prometheus on Blu-ray
And since my Blu-ray player was one of the things that I had problems with, I wanted to make sure I did the testing with all the buttons and functions of that. And so far I've been pleased. Everything that this remote says it does, it does. Now my previous remote was the Harmony 520. However, I was not able to get this remote programmed to work my Blu-ray player, which is why I chose to get this remote as an upgrade model. Both remotes are fine, but this model I had a problem with programming the functions for my Blu-ray player. Three, 